Hi guys, I want to share this quick little video tutorial with you. Now I have this friend that is severely allergic to shellfish. And it's kind of sad because every time we go out with the boys, you know, from Ice Shrimp Scam, being lobster, he can't come with them. And I feel bad about it. So his birthday is coming up and I wanted to do something nice for him. And I was thinking of, um, you know, what can I do that represents a lobster? Now I know that he loves white chocolate. He's crazy for it. So I was thinking, what if I make a real lobster looking white chocolate replica? So that's what I'm going to do. Um, there's a little bit of work involved, but you know, there's no shame in hard labor. So if we do the right steps one by one and we figure this out how to do it, I think we're going to come up with a really cool product and he'll really, really like it. So first thing we're going to need is a lobster. Uh, I happen to have a lobster license, so we're going to go on the boat, pull some traps and get us a lobster. Let's go fishing. Alright, so I picked a really nice good looking lobster. I have my preferred silicon from Make Your Own Molds and I'm pretty much good to go here. I'm going to do this in three pieces. I'm going to make two molds, one with the two claws and one with the body. In order to do that I need to do a little work on it. I have to kind of prep them because they're going to be sitting flat on the bottom of a container which is going to be my mold which I'm going to pour the liquid to make your own mold silicone into it. So what I need to do is I need to kind of build a base on all these three pieces. And in order to do that, I'm going to use what's called Sculpey clay. You can buy that in any craft store. It's a white clay. It comes in different colors, but I just use white. And I kind of uh, just put some on the bottom and kind of build a base on it. Um, it reminds me a little bit of the work that you see maybe in a Smithsonian you know, museum where they fuse together the bones from a dinosaur or something. It kind of looks like that a little bit. Um, I just have to do this on all three pieces. It's very important that I have a flat base because the silicone cannot run underneath and kind of block and lock everything up. I need to be able to pour my uh, white chocolate into there. So you can see it's kind of like, uh, you know, a white clay base that goes around all the pieces. Um, I took a good amount and I'm just going to kind of press it down onto it, down to it and uh, cut the excess out of it and then use my fingers to kind of fuse everything together and push it against the body and, you know, almost make it like airtight so that there's no holes where the silicon can go in. This is a very important step um, because that will really affect your end results. So you can see that all the pieces have kind of a base there. Um, I'm going to fire that in the oven quick at a low temperature, it's about 175 degrees. And you can see now they're all like white on the bottom, that's that clay part and they're all flat. So I'm pretty much ready to go with my molds. I'm using a small little cardboard box and a gratin mold and I lay my pieces flat down into it. Um, for the silicone I use to make your own mold liquid silicone, it's great stuff and they make it really easy on you. It's a one to one ratio and you just mix them together equal amounts and start stirring them together. You want to make sure you really mix them well together so there's no white streaks in there. And uh, it's a fantastic product and works really, really well on those projects I do. Once you have it all mixed up, all you have to do is just gently pour it over the uh, molds. I like to gently let it flow over the object and kind of distributes itself. Let just gravity do its own work and you know will come out just fine. Make sure that you obviously feel it tall enough where the entire piece is covered. This is very important. Once you haven't filled, be patient, just let them be, walk away and let that silicone cure. Then you just pop it out of the container, peel back the aluminum foil and pull out the pieces that you casted. 
Make your own mold bakes is really easy on you. There's a great tutorial on the website. It's so easy to work with and the result is astonishing. It just takes on every little detail. It's amazing how accurate it is. Um, you can see this in the lobster tail here. It's just every single nook and cranny is like represented on there and it, it, it really makes for an awesome result. I really love this material and it's so easy to work with. Now that we have our molds, we're ready to fill this with white chocolate. I'm just going to melt some, put it in a bag and then gently fill them up. This is pretty straightforward. You just fill them up everywhere, let gravity do its work again and let it kind of flow everywhere. Give it a little bit of a tap that will make the uh, surface of it really nice and flat. And that's important because what you see on top here eventually will be the bottom and the bottom of the mold will be the top all with the details on it. I'm going to do the same thing to the tail. I'm going to fill it up and kind of let it flow everywhere. Um, I'm using a good amount of chocolate for this project here, but you know, he's my buddy and I would do right by him and make his birthday memorable. So you can see it's just going to get filled up here and again we're going to give it a little love tap at the end and make it all nice and smooth and we're good to go. So we're going to pull out the pieces that we just casted in white chocolate and that's another reason why I like make your own mold silicone because it just really releases the material that you cast with really well and you can see the accuracy on those lobster claws. It's just really really cool how really detailed they come out. We're going to do the same thing with the lobster tail, the whole body. We're just kind of loosen up the edges everywhere and just kind of gently you know try to pull that out. Um, it's important that you lose the edges up first a little bit all the way around and then in this case I kind of just go underneath with my hand and pull that whole body right out. Uh, it releases really well. You just have to be a little gentle. It's chocolate and so you know don't rush it. Just take it out nice and slowly and eventually uh, it just pops right out. And the result is just amazing. I mean, it literally looks like a real lobster, but it's made out of white chocolate now. I put together the claws and the body just so you can see what that looks like. And it, it's just really cool. I just want to add a few more details. I'm going to make it out of white modeling chocolate. I want to make the six legs and the antennas. The legs are pretty simple. I'm just going to make a little sausage, make an incision at the end and kind of mold the details with my knife and then put them onto the lobster. You can see the antennas are already there and my shape is completed. So all I have left is to airbrush my lobster and when I airbrush I always start from the light colors and I work my way into the darker ones. So I'm going to start off with yellow just as a base coat and I'm going to work my way into the orange and then kind of into the reds and at the end I even put a little dot of brown into the red and make it almost kind of a brownish burgundy and I'm going to highlight uh, certain areas and kind of trick your eyes to a little bit more of a 3D look. That will give it a really cool look and, and you know obviously I want to make it look like it was spoiled so I want that nice red you know bright color on it and with the shading of the brown it just kind of makes it pop up a little bit more and, and make it look a little bit more real and so once I have completed that I'm pretty much good to go with this whole project to fool my friend into uh, hopefully he thinks that this is a real lobster and uh, you know present them with a nice New England dinner so I got that nice dark red like it was just steamed color. All I need to do is pop the eyes in and I'm good to go. Let's see if we can plate this. Well, here's the end result. I had a lot of fun with it. My friend's coming over in about an hour. He's probably going to think I'm the most worst and awful friend he ever had. Um, hopefully he'll change his mind and realize that he's getting a pretty cool birthday gift. Um, just wanted to show you how easy and simple it was to use the uh, silicone from Make Your Own Mold. It's a great product, has a great website, lots of tutorials. I want to make some more. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.